Engineering giant Marla recently unveiled three innovative new components for thermal management inspired by nature. Bio-inspired engineering is a theme I love exploring. After all, nature's had a while to master its design. But what fascinates me more about these new components is the way Marla designed them. I recently met up with some of their engineers at a conference and what they told me blew my mind. So I had to share it with all of you. The latest advancements in engineering, simulations and manufacturing are paving the way for a bionic revolution. As always, I respect your time, so let's get straight into this. I'm Ryan Innes and this is a Xerox Deep Dive. Marla has pioneered three components to help tackle one of the biggest and most interesting challenges in electric powertrains, thermal management. And of course, they're all biomimetic, an ancient method of solving human problems by emulating nature. The first biomimetic component is modelled on the streamlined fin of a penguin. The second design is inspired by the branching structure of river deltas and coral resulting in a battery cooling plate that makes coolant flow more efficiently, pushing it to a wide area and accelerating it to the outlet. Finally, the wings of the silent hunter, the owl, provided the template for a new auxiliary cooling fan for a vehicle's thermal management system. But copying nature is not that easy, and I want to understand why all these breakthroughs are happening now. Penguin fins, coral branches, delta channels and owl's wings all show how nature can manage fluid flow with complex and evolving shapes. And until recently, these were too complex for us to really understand and take full advantage of. Designing systems inspired by nature in weeks and months instead of years and decades is only possible now thanks to advancements in AI. AI accelerated computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, running on immense computing power is making iterative design faster and more accurate. Now, I think AI gets used far too much as a general buzzword, so I wanna cut through the fluff that is generally portrayed in the media and give you a tangible feel for what this really means. As you can imagine, simulating nature's complex designs is extremely slow and computationally expensive. So instead of solving all of the complex fluid dynamics equations from scratch, we can build something called a surrogate model with machine learning. These surrogate models act like a simplified stand-in for the full CFD simulation. The surrogate model learns from a smaller set of highly accurate simulations and can then be used to predict the outcomes of different situations much more quickly. This means engineers can use machine learning powered surrogates to rapidly estimate things like drag, lift, or flow patterns across many design variations whilst only running full CFD simulations in the most critical areas. This results in simulation campaigns that are much more cost effective and faster whilst still giving enough accuracy to lead to useful engineering decisions. This means an engineer can simulate millions of blade configurations to find out which one works best for the given application. This is important because nature's designs are so complex, it means small changes can have huge impacts. The engineer can guide the optimizations by basing the initial designs on a natural system and letting the AI enhanced simulations find the best solution. So that's the theory of how these high speed AI enhanced simulations help us copy nature's designs. But now let's see that in practice and the real world results. To design their bionic components, Marla used in-house AI models and worked with AI first engineering platform, Neural Concept. For the penguin fin blower, the engineers started by setting out performance goals and some of the constraints that applied to it. They then also added in some bionic inspired design elements and let the simulation work its magic. For this, the AI engineering co-pilot quickly predicted the real world performance of the configuration and proposed new geometries that apparently exceeded their initial specifications. Results from over 30 million iterations of complex multi-curve designs were assessed, showing their aerodynamics, noise, and efficiency performance values 
until they settled on one single shape that guaranteed minimal pressure losses in the system. Neural concept describes the difference between the old-fashioned, traditional, iterative approach, which is quite time-consuming, with the AI-assisted approach that helps guide design decisions in real time, meaning that the AI assistant not only makes the simulations faster, but also says which one to do next so you can reach the best answer faster. They say that this shift enabled prototype designs to be produced very quickly. And for the Penguin-inspired blower, the result was a component that reduced noise by 60% and improved efficiency by 15%. Next up, the Coral-inspired cooling plate used AI generative design to create branching channels that spread coolant evenly across thousands of battery cells. This boosted cooling capacity and cut pressure losses by 20%. It also reduced the amount of material used by 15%. Finally, the OWL-inspired fan used terabytes of training data from complex CFD simulations to quickly, using AI, predict the best shape for the fan's blades based on different airflows and noise profiles. The result was a fan 10% lighter, 10% more efficient, and 4 decibels quieter than conventional designs. This reduction in noise is especially useful for truck drivers, as it enables the fan to run and keep the battery cool during charging without disrupting the driver if they are aiming to get some sleep. It's clear that AI is enabling us to benefit from the genius designs of biological systems. Neural Concept believes AI gives engineers the freedom to reimagine the design and performance of components. But this couldn't all be realised without some very important additional advancements. It's only thanks to advanced materials and manufacturing methods that this revolution in design has become a reality, making it economically viable to rapidly prototype and ultimately mass-produce shapes that were once believed to be too complex. Martin Berger, the VP of Mahler, says that they are constantly keeping up with all kinds of modern manufacturing approaches. As an example, Mahler used 3D printing to manufacture pistons used in the engines of a Porsche GT2 RS, with these methods also being useful for electric motors and thermal management components. I think this work by Mahler is really cool, and they have a long history. It started over a century ago with lighter pistons for engines, and whilst they still make core engine components, they've expanded into areas that support the shift to e-mobility, all aimed at making EV ownership more practical. Marla Chair Arne Franz described their approach at the IAA conference, saying, Our products are not just visions, they're ready for series production and offer genuine solutions to genuine challenges faced by our customers. They also announced orders of thermal management modules totaling 1.5 billion, which appear to feature the Coral-inspired battery cooling plate and electric fan inspired by the owl's wing. It's fascinating to see the focus shifting away from understanding exactly how nature's designs are more efficient and then replicating them, and towards using data-rich simulations to trial and error a design until it works. Which, to be honest, is more in line with how Mother Nature came to find these designs in the first place. The combination of new technologies has created a perfect synergy where creative inspiration from nature, immense computational power, AI, and the fabrication capabilities of modern manufacturing are coming together to tackle inefficiencies. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and helps the channel a lot. You can also follow me on LinkedIn if you want to hear some more of my energy-related rambles. You might also like some of my other videos, like this one on how solid-state batteries have finally made it into real-world vehicles. And as always, thanks for watching.